Hello everyone. Uh, it's been a couple months since I've done a soft to firm menstrual cup comparison between all the cups that I have and I've acquired a few a uh, few more cups since then so I wanted to remake this video or update it um, and they, this video will include the new Lena cup and also the Super Jenny cup so if you're curious about those cups and uh, it, where they land on on my soft to firm list uh, you'll, you'll be able to see it here um, I will be breaking up the groups into three different um, groupings which is the softest cups uh, the middle firm cups and then my firmest cup so um, if you're looking for a soft cup you can just look in that group and then so on and so forth uh, so how I go through this list is I take uh, two cups and and I compare them together and I squeeze them between the palms of my hands because I feel like it gives a more even amount of pressure um, than if I were to crab claw it in my hands like this <clears throat> and I look for which one caves in first so the pink cup here is the Lena cup and the purple one here is the Eva cup and I press them together in my hands and I look on the inside and here you can see that the Eva cup is caving in on itself and it's meeting in the middle so it's touching right there in the middle and the Lena cup has enough resistance to hold up and press itself against the Eva cup so in this case the Eva cup would be the more soft cup and I just keep going through all of my cups and um, seeing which one is more firm and which one is more soft and then putting them in uh, that specific order. Now I do have some cups that are oddly shaped and it's a little bit harder to get a good reading on them so I'm going to move these out of the way and show you um, the the natural mama is this straight design and then the lily cup is this tree Christmas tree design and um, it is a little harder to get a, a reading against some of the rounded cups just because they don't sit nicely and if I if I'm really really unsure about which one is caving in then I go ahead and just kind of do this uh, crab claw uh, feeling it or crab claw I don't want to say test but I just kind of feel it in my hands and gauge it to see which one I, I feel is softer um, just because they don't sit against the the other cups as well so uh, I'm going to try to place these as best as as I can and uh, you might get a different reading or you might feel that they're softer or firmer than I um, say but <clears throat> these are just all of my cups and um, you know you might feel like one cup is a lot more firm than I think it is so if you have all these cups on hand and you do a squish test um, and you find that one cup is more firm than I say then I'm, I'm very sorry it's just my finding so uh, don't bash me on that Another thing that I want to mention before I start is I do have a couple cups with this different kind of rim and this is the uh, Femme cup and it has this really hard uh, secondary rim and you can see this edge right here and uh, this edge is more firm well if there's a secondary rim on a cup normally it is more firm but this is pretty thick right here um, and it does get more firm but the bottom of this cup is really really soft and it's hard to get a reading on these because the way that they sit as well and because the rims are thicker and more firm I really have to pay attention to just squeezing the back of these cups so just take that into account that these might read awkwardly too um, I'm not doing a video on just the rims at this time hopefully I'll do it next Tuesday for you and I have that uploaded so if you're going to um, look for that video you'll have to wait till next Tuesday so let me get my cups in their positions and uh, two more things before I begin 
Uh, in my original video, I did include the small and large of each of the cups if I had both of those sizes. In this video, I'm only going to include the large size or the size 2 of each cup that I have. Unless I don't have the large, I'm going to use the small. Also, in this video, I am going to include the medium, large, and extra large of the Maluna Classic Cups. Uh, I find that these are probably the most common sizes, and this is their classic firmness. So I wanted to um, put these into the groups as well. This is the group that I consider my soft cups, and I... Um, did have problems with each of these cups uh, getting to open. So what I found with these cups is that I had to alter the way that I folded them and also where I um, allowed them to open after I inserted them. So I did find that I couldn't use the punch down fold because the rims wouldn't pop open since the cup is so soft on the back and also that I could only insert the cup halfway in before allowing them to open. Um, if I inserted them too high, then my muscles were too strong and they would not open all the way. So, from, I'm going to move this down just a bit, from softest to firmest, the list would go the Femme Cup or Femi Cup, this is the Blossom Cup, the Cup Lee, the Sibel Cup, the Super Jenny, the Lily Cup Compact, a Nature Cup, Lady Cup, N Natural Mama, the Schoon Cup, and this is the Medium uh, Classic Maluna Cup. This is the cup that they suggested to me using their cup calculator. So again, from softest to firmest within my soft cup group. This is what I consider my medium firmness group. Now the uh, Maluna Medium Classic and the Diva Cup are very similar. However, I was not able to get the Maluna to open for me and I think it's because of the uh, secondary rim. And I know I'm not doing a video on rims right now, but I was able to get the Diva Cup to open. So I put it in the medium uh, firmness grouping as I had to alter the way that I inserted the Maluna uh, Medium Classic and also where I allowed it to pop open. So uh, that's why the Diva Cup is here and the Maluna is in the soft cup grouping even though they are pretty similar when I do the squish test. So from uh, softest to firmest within my medium firm group is the Diva Cup the No Name or China Cheapy, which I have seen be called the Green Donna. This is the Eva Cup, the Flare Cup, the Silky Cup, which is TPE, the Juju or Juju Cup, and the Maluna Large Classic. This last group is what I consider my firmest cups, and um, for the most part, I don't have any problems getting any of these to open for me. I do still have to use the um, C-fold or U-fold with the Maluna for some reason, um, and I think it just has to do with that it's TPE, and it kind of, the, the material kind of sticks to itself, um, is what I find, so like the punch down fold doesn't just release the material when I'm trying to pinch down on it to get it to open. So I do have to use this, the U or C fold and I do also have to insert it only halfway. However, the rest of these cups I have no problems with them popping open, um, inserted all the way uh, where I would normally um, position my cup. Um, and the first in this group would be the Ruby Cup. This is the Moon Cup USA version, and that is a size B. This is a Lunette. This is the Maluna Extra Large in Classic. This is the new Lena Cup. And this is the Yuki um, 
medium firmness. I can't remember what they call it. Uh, it's not soft and it's not classic. So whichever one <laughs> it was that um, is the other choice you have, this is the that one. It's medium. And even though it is the medium firmness, it's still the firmest cup that I own. So there's all of my menstrual cups from softest to firmest um, that I have on hand right now. When I get another handful of cups, I'll go ahead and update this again. I was really planning on um, de-stashing some of these cups, but it's kind of hard for me to let them go when I know eventually I'll get another cup and I'll want to do a comparison between those two. But um, I do purchase all of these cups with my own money. I, I don't contact the companies for a free cup, so um, it takes me a while to acquire a, a, you know, a group of cups and I have to shop around the de-stash groups and uh, watch for the sales for the cups that I don't already have on hand, so um, just bear with me. But for now, there you have my group of cups. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, check out my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.